It's time for the lighthouse. Bloop, bloop. Hi, I'm Andrew, this is Scrapbox, and after such a long delay, it's time to actually build ourselves a lighthouse. I'm gonna try to go with the same color scheme as the original lighthouse that I made, but hopefully make it, I don't know, better this time? So I was on studio and I came up with this circular design. Is it perfect? No. I'm not quite a fan of these little um, slow parts, but I think that's the best we're gonna get with the large area for interiors. This is gonna be the size of the interior of the lighthouse, and frankly, it does look a little small to me. I'm wondering if I could get maybe a 12 by 12 instead, but I'm gonna have to go back and look at that circle. I think we're gonna cheat a bit and rip the circle design straight out of the Lego Rivendell set. Okay, here is the basics of what a wall is going to look like. It looks pretty good from the outside. From the inside, it looks absolutely terrible. But I do believe this is one of those things where we have to start somewhere. So we're going to start with the outside looking nice and then deal with the inside afterwards. It's, uh, it's huge. I might have to... <laughs> I really want to keep it that big at the base. I think that looks cool, but I think I'm probably going to have to um, go back and build the structure out a little bit. And then also, I had the terrible realization that the stairs are going to have to shift over like one. Is that a big deal? Uh, I'll lie and say no. Oh, look, it's only a couple pieces short. As long as you don't look like the fact that uh, that whole wall doesn't exist. You probably also noticed that since I am building this in white, you can tell which pieces are slightly sun damaged, such as these old slopes. And I think that's actually the key to our success. This looks very pristine. And I bet we could save some of these curves if we made it look a little more rugged. I was able to give this a uh, much more weathered look and save five of those curved pieces, which means if we pull a couple from every side, we might be able to make that last side we were looking for. Now we are getting somewhere. I'll probably have to do the same with the lower floor, and I don't know what the third tier is going to consist of. Hopefully it's not more of these curves. So originally it was supposed to be three tiers and then the bulb on top, and as I was making this, I was like, oh no. I've made this way too thick, but then I realized something, and the fact is, I'm just not thinking tall enough. That's right. We can go that tall. This is the top of my old lighthouse, by the way, that's why it's uh, crumbling and falling apart. Now before I even see if it's feasible to make it that tall, I should probably build an actual infrastructure and, you know, support system for these. As you can see, uh, they're just kind of standing in place, these walls. What is all this stuff on the floor? Well, it's the fact that I made a huge mistake. You see, I built each of these sections 13 tall, but you see how these are built sideways and then every two studs this way is five plates up. So 13 studs did not actually fit. So they all had to be reduced to 12. And I did it for this one, which is all the pieces at the bottom. And this one, I haven't done it for this one yet. However, I also went and I added internal structures. So this is all one piece. I haven't done it to the bottom one yet. No, Andrew, stop. It's too tall now. Don't worry, I am not including this, but I will include, you know, the actual bulb on the top. It's going to be one, two, three, four tiers. I've still got to alter this tier and make a little house in front because if you slowly turn this way, oh, I probably shouldn't have this whole giant thing resting on that when this isn't even attached to the ground. It's almost like it's a recipe for disaster. Okay, I spent way too long on this, but look how beautiful and pristine the top of this lighthouse is going to be. If only I had a method for attaching it to the rest of it. So what I'm doing here is I have an old Lego motor and I just finished rewiring the little um, 
segments because those wires are always super old and their little coatings come off. However, the main purpose of this is to see if I can get this piece to turn slowly as it will hopefully be the main mechanism for the lighthouse. And what I have is a voltmeter and a variable power supply. And we're gonna see how slow I can get this to turn. So this is 3.26 and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some resistors and see what it doesn't have enough. As you can see, that low has a turn. So, so I did go a little bit crazy. Wow! All right, this is as compact as it gets. And the motor's right there in the middle. So it'll be nice and compact in the actual lighthouse. It takes about 16 seconds for it to make a full turnaround, which honestly isn't bad. So with this gearbox made and slightly put into place, I have to focus on the actual light itself. As you can tell, there is no light in there, just this giant rotating piece. I'm going to put a, basically a giant silver sticker on the inside to reflect any light in that half dome. The only problem is, what sort of bulb do I use? Now in the last one, I had a little LED that just stuck down from the top, but that's not a lot of light. I have a stronger one, but it's only gonna be facing downward. So instead, I do believe we might be able to make a small slanted mirror to help bounce the light forward. Now, when I explained it, I bet it sounded super complicated, but this is literally it. It's just a 45 degree angle slope, and I'm gonna put a little mirror on that tile. This right here is a piece of aluminum tape. It's gonna go inside and coat this you know, intersection. However, if you wanted to use actual Lego parts, there are mirror stickers every so often, but you would need a lot of them. And while I am bad at placing stickers, I think I did a pretty good job making this one as smooth as possible. There you can, <laughs> now you can see all the inconsistencies. There we go. Will it work? Who knows, but we're gonna find out. I've got this really bright push light from the Dollar Tree. As you can tell, it's empty right now. I'm gonna pull out the actual LED from it and try to fix it up with this. But this is nowhere near perfect, but the LED shines down. It gets reflected off of the silver or aluminum, whatever you wanna actually call it, and should project forward. Looks pretty bright too. All right, this is my first test run of the lights. At, wow, I just put my hand in the... <laughs> this is my first test run with the lights actually turned on. That looks really nice. And now the scary part. It's time to see if the whole thing works. Slowly but surely, we have a lighthouse. It's not perfectly dark, but... That looks extremely bright and satisfying. Okay, plan time. What I did here was I lowered everything by one tile, so now it's 12, 12. You get the idea, it's all evenly spaced and it will stack nicely. I did the little stonework around the sides. What I need to do right now is, it's not going to be permanent, but find a way to put it on this base without it falling around. I need to create a little front entrance. I need to attach this structure to the rest of it. Finish that little structure. Maybe make a little railing around here. Put the wires all the way through to the bottom and out the back for the USB. And then we will call it a week. And then next week I will make the interior. I wanted to show you how I was designing the little top area because I wanted, you know, an area for them to walk and have a little railing. That's what they're called. At first I thought it was gonna be easy and I could just use these, but these are half a stud off so these wouldn't actually be flush with the rest of it. So now I'm using these Technic ones and a little bit of Pepper's hair, there we go. And it's just, it came together so nice. It's not done of course, but I mean, look, look at this. And then these little studs are gonna be for the railing. Look how good, wait, hold on a second. Look how good that looks. It's got the little hole that they can climb through, through a little ladder. And then this center piece is gonna be covered up and then it's all gonna look great. I've made this railing using the little telescope pieces and whatnot. It's not perfectly round as these little tubes do have their ends to it, but overall it's pretty good. Come on, focus a little bit. 
There you go, you can see there's a little ladder for if you have to, you know, get up in there. Can a minifigure actually fit up there? No. But, you know, looks better than nothing. And then this, right back here, flips up, and there's gonna be a ladder that leads down. So, the exterior is basically done now, except for the front entrance. Once I do that, and I get the wiring, We'll do a whole test, make sure the whole thing works all together, and we will call it a day. I don't remember exactly where I saw it. I think it was Pinterest, but I saw a door with three arches, like each one bigger than the last, and I became obsessed with it. It just looks so nice. So I decided to build this one out of Lego. I made a roof for it. Is it perfect? No, but I think it's pretty nice. You know, the little cross hatching at the top. Always hard to see in black, but I think it matches up pretty neat. And then I'm adding little gold embroidery because we have a lot of gold on the top of the lighthouse. So we should have it down here as well. Okay, I think that looks nice. The four dots on the top are for a sign of whatever we're gonna call this lighthouse later. The two big circles are for lanterns because I'll probably want to wire them and that just makes it easier. And now that this looks good, and this looks good, we can put them together. Wiring this took forever, not because the wiring was difficult, but because the gear system was acting up every time I would take it apart and I'd be like, oh, it's working great. And I'd put it back together and it would stop working. And I'd take it apart and I'd put it back together and again and again and again, but it should work, hopefully. These of course aren't my official connectors, but they will connect to a USB and therefore we can test it right about now. There you go. Now it is quite a loud motor. I will look into getting a quieter motor for it, but let's see what the lights off. It definitely lights up the room. Here it is at night with all the extra little lights on and it's starting to come together pretty nicely. We've got our Oasis hangout, the subway tunnels, the Alice in Wonderland room, Little Mermaid meetup. And over here, we got our super bright train station, our surf shack, and a little tunnel. Everything's ready, which means it's finally time to take a final look. A darkness covers this land. A terror beyond our recognition. Hunting us one by one. The only way to save ourselves is to bring back the light. All right, this has been Andrew. You've watched the scrap box. I hope you enjoyed, had fun, and next week we will do the interior of this, hopefully. All right, you have a good one. Make sure to like, su like, like subscribe, all that fun stuff. Make sure to eat all of your vegetables, and of course, have a good one. Bye.